We do the same shit day in, day out, yeah? yeah. There's nothing magic about changing your exercise. Ooh, it's changed the exercise, so I'm gonna grow now. No, it just knows when it's been put under so much stress that it needs to react and needs to grow. It won't know which exercise you're doing. Well, it just knows if it's under stress. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle rant. Today's topic, as you saw in the intro, is training. Do you need to vary sets, reps, routines, days off, days on? Yes and no. Dorian said it best. The bottom line is compound free weight movements build muscle. When you subject a muscle to stress and intensity, it must adapt and change. When you break down muscle tissue in the gym because you're applying heavier loads, more intensity, the muscle rebuilds itself bigger, thicker, and denser. What does that mean on a, on a biological or cellular level? It means that the muscle cells that are existing create new nuclei. Those are the brains of each muscle cell. And the more nuclei you get inside the muscles, the bigger the muscle can get and the more dense it gets, the more information that's going in there, that's called hypertrophy of a muscle. So the muscles get bigger, they have more brain power, so to speak, to get bigger, and then also there's another process we call hyperplasia, which is the stem cells that surround all the muscle tissue that are undifferentiated muscle tissue. These are these pluripotent cells that exist in the body that can turn into any cell in the body, but when you subject the body to great stress and great damage, those stem cells will now turn into new muscle cells. They might be very small, but they create new muscle fibers and they fuse with the other muscle fibers, allowing the body to get even bigger. So there's two processes that go on, hyperplasia, which is the formation of new cells, and hypertrophy, which is the increasing in size of the existing cells. Now, training. When you train and you lift heavy weights and you break down muscle tissue, the muscle has to build itself back bigger and stronger. The muscle cell doesn't know whether you're doing leg press or hack squats or free weight squats. It just knows the stress it feels on the body. It just so happens that free weight movements in general, because they require stabilization, tend to activate and break down more muscle tissue than does machines, because machines stabilize the weight for you. If you get under a Smith machine and you squat, you know, you're not balancing the weight the Smith machine is. You're kind of just pushing against the bar that's on your back to move the weight up and down. You don't have to worry about side to side or, or forward and back. That's what the machine does. So the machine is taking away some of the work that your body would normally have to do had you just done a free weight squat where you have to balance the bar on your back and you're controlling the weight not only up and down, but side to side and front to back. That's why you get more complete development from free weight movements. However, if you're subjecting a muscle to more and more stress, whether it be a free weight movement or a machine, the muscle must respond and, and, and get bigger and stronger. That's just the way training works. Now, do you need to alternate exercises every single week? I know people that want a new routine like on a weekly basis. And I don't know if it's just because they're bored or if they actually believe that if they don't change their routine every week that they're not going to grow. I completely back what Dorian is saying. <laughs> Do the same exercises, you build the same muscle. You know, if you find that squats happen to work really well for you at building muscle in your legs, why wouldn't you squat? There's no reason not to squat. What, just because you did it 18 weeks in a row? Guess what? It's working. Keep doing it. You might have to increase the weight, you might have to increase the intensity, you might want to do a drop set or forced reps, that's fine. But the exercise itself is irreplaceable. Just like you know, your incline you know, bench press or incline dumbbell presses are invaluable for building pec muscles. I mean, you can go on all the machines in the world and I can give you 16 different chest routines, but at the end of the day, you need to do a heavy pressing movement if you want to build big pecs. 
big thick pecs. And if you want complete development, free weight movements are going to give you that because of the stabilization of having to stabilize a bar or having to stabilize two dumbbells in your hand. That's just the way it works. There's no simple answer. So the question is, well, why are all these trainers giving people you know, a, a workout every week or every three days they're changing up the workout? Because it adds value to what they do as a coach. And that's bollocks from personal trainers that want to make money. And I've spoken to them. Yeah, we know it's not necessary to change a client's routine every month, but we do it anyway. Why do you do it? Because they're not perceived more value. Because they're getting changed every month. Although we know it's bollocks, we still do it. I don't waste time with bollocks. And coaches want to make sure that their athletes feel that they cannot do it without them which is kind of stupid in a way. You want, I, I always feel like I want to self-empower the people that I work with so they feel, hey, I can do this. Dave is my motivation. Dave's my confidant, answers my questions. Dave's the guy I, I am accountable to that I have to check in with so that I know that I'm going to get the job done for the week or for whatever, every, how many days he's got to send me, I got to send him updates. But at the end of the day, I kind of know what I'm doing because Dave enabled me and he, and he educated me as to what we are doing here. Um, I shouldn't have to like, you know, switch, you know, brown rice for white rice and, and oats for, for cream of rice and, you know, chicken breast for chicken thighs just so that you think I'm, I'm, I'm a good coach because I'm changing things up and uh, shocking your body or whatever you might hocus pocus you think I might do. If a chicken breast builds muscle, keep eating the chicken breast. And as Doreen would say, if squats or single leg leg curls build great mass in your hamstrings, then keep doing them. Just keep finding ways to increase the intensity and crank up the uh, ability for your muscles to go to that next level. Whether it be increasing the weight, like I said, increasing the frequency, increasing the intensity level, doing drop sets, supersets, monster sets, <laughs> giant sets, whatever you want to do to increase it, that's fine. But the exercises themselves are the bread and butter of what's building your muscle. So, if when you're doing back and you do bent over rows, sure, you can vary your, your, your grip on the bar. But at the end of the day, bent over rows are what build big, you know, big thick backs. Look at Dorian's back. Look at Nasser's back. Look at some of the best backs, Jean-Pierre Fuchs, Ronnie Combe. Some of the best backs of all time have been built with heavy, heavy bent over barbell rows. And because it works, why would you change it? You know, what? Because it's more comfortable to sit on a hammer strength machine or, 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 you know, one of the other light fitness machines and just row. Of course, it's more comfortable, but it's not going to build the same muscle. But Dorian would tell you if you did do the, a certain machine, as long as you can keep increasing intensity and weight, um, you're going to still grow. And he's right, but you're not going to get the complete development you do from free weight. So I'm a big free weight advocate, especially when you're first building mass. But I'm an advocate of what Dorian proposes, which is, intensity and heavy weights build muscle and you need to consistently apply the same principles over and over and over week after week after week after week after week it never changes it doesn't change there's, there's no secret once you get down which exercises work well for your body you know for like for me I, barbell curls never work well for arms I, I found that I, I did better with cable curls um, for other people they might find that barbell curls work great or dumbbell curls might work better. So you have to find, but once you find the magical exercises that activate the right muscle groups for you, stick with those exercises. Don't be so hung up on very fancy programs that have elaborate you know, workout programs and elaborate diets and cut. It's not that hard, it's very simple. Go to the gym, stimulate the muscle, go home, eat and sleep and that's if you do that really well and very consistently you're going to be a great bodybuilder unfortunately people can't do that because they get bored so they need new workouts they need new diets they need new uh, supplement regimens they can't just follow the same thing over and over and over again because it's too monotonous for them but that's what bodybuilding is all about if you want to be big freaky and shredded on stage you better get used to being a bored robot that's what bodybuilding is all about doing the same thing over and over and over again and progressively making improvements little by little by little by little by little over a long period of time and enjoy that journey because if you don't enjoy that journey you will have missed the whole point of it 
at the end of the day, and when the, your career is over, or when you're done competing, and you sit back and look at everything you did, you're going to be like, you know what? I should have enjoyed the process a lot more because it was really fun. And I always try to make best of what I was doing. I always try to enjoy that process while I was going through it because I knew it wasn't going to last forever. And I knew that these were the you know, best days. And yeah, probably, you know, I wish I would have taken some more pictures and some more videos. There really wasn't anything available back then. I probably could have made a bigger effort, but we didn't care. We just wanted to train because we loved it. We thought it was never going to stop. But having looked back now at, at my career and, and what I went through, it was, that was the fun part. And that's what builds character. And you'll take that same process. If you are a successful bodybuilder and you're able to be that disciplined to take your physique to the next level, you can do that in any aspect of your life. Business, school, whatever you want to apply yourself to. Being a parent, it's all the same thing. Find the process that works and just keep repeating it over and over and over, day after day after day. And that's what leads to success. All right, guys, remember, there's no shortcuts. There's no secrets. There's no little voodoo tricks that's going to get you there faster. It's all about hard work. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.